that one here, and he also picks up a first down. First and goal at the seven-yard line. Operating from the gun, Cummings, and that is caught. Touchdown, Clemson. A seven-yard touchdown grab, and Clemson has taken the lead. After the departure of Tommy Matthews at the half, the offense able to regroup and put the football in the end zone. Yeah, and that's something they couldn't accomplish in the first two quarters of this game. So finally, finding their way downfield. Then Coach Red O'Brien, he hadn't shown a preference for either quarterback. But this kid who's out there right now, one thing we know about him, he's a fighter. Yeah, he, you, you're exactly right. I was just going to say that, Charles. He, he's a fighter, and he does have plenty of upside. We know that he can lead. You and I sitting with him this week. Didn't you just see a guy who could step into any locker room and control the presence of his teammates? Well, I just remember when we left that room, you said two things to me. I think this kid's going to be poised under pressure. And to me, he's a natural leader, and I concur with both of those statements. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They start out with a run by Ferguson. And he'll run straight into a wall of tacklers at the line of scrimmage. It's second down. The Oregon Ducks looking for that elusive first national title. Of course, they've been in the National College Football Playoff before behind Marcus Mariota following the 2014 season. And they beat Florida State that year before falling 42-20 in the championship game. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. A nice punt, but a good run back as well, 13 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. A run there with Henry as he gets forward only for about three. Second down coming up. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. First and 10 at the 36-yard line. On first down, Cummings. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that is incomplete. Incomplete. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those. But the coverage has been excellent thus far. And it was again on the last play. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. to throw again. Cummings. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. This will be caught just inside the 10. He's down inside the 10 to the 8. And it comes on a gain of 8. A good pick up there. 8 yards on the first down completion at the eight-yard line. Looking to throw on second down. Cummings, and that would not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Back now here on EA Sports as we're about ready to rock and roll for the fourth and final quarter. On third and two. Cummings toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. 
And his kick is good. And that'll open the lead up to a touchdown now at 13 to 6. Well, from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. At their own 32-yard line. The Oregon offense on the field ready for their next possession. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Quarterback sack. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. It's a return of four following a 42-yard punt. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. Boy, this is such a nerve-wracking time right now for both of these fan bases. And heck, my palms are sweating, CD. I don't even have a, a dog in the fight right now. Yeah, you're doing better than me because it's just your palms sweating. Right now, I have soaked my shirt with this ball game and everything going on. Can you imagine what it's like for that young quarterback down on the field if you and I are like this? That's the thing. Your right leg is tapping up and down. My left leg's tapping up and down. I can only imagine what it's like to be inside that helmet. Look, no Tommy Matthews. The spotlight, Charles, shining just brightly right on him. And you know what his head coach, Red O'Brien, has been telling him this entire time? Teams win national championships, son. Don't worry about trying to do it alone. The lights might be bright right now, but you've been in similar situations like that throughout the season. Carry us home. Back to the air on second down. Cummings. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. First and 10 now for Clemson. From the gun, Cummings. Got a man on the right sideline. That's Simpson. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomped down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Call it a gain of 14 for the second play in a row. Here's first and goal, Clemson. First and goal at the five-yard line. Operating from the gun. Cummings. And that is caught. Touchdown, Clemson. Downey Simpson there to make the grab. And Clemson tacks on to their lead. Rich Norton. Well, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead now up to 14. So after the touchdown, Clemson back out there to kick this thing away. A short kick taken at the 18. Oh, a good return up past the 30. The Ducks take over first and 10 at their own 33-yard line. The Ducks set to go on offense as they come to the line. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, if something got, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Now he dumps this off over the middle. Give him two yards on that play. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. 
The offense on third down today. They've converted three times in eight chances. This is third and 11. And he can't escape, and down he goes. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. On fourth down, Barrett, he's going to let it fly. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. down to none? Yes, exactly right. That one looks like he'll throw here. And that is caught. Touchdown, Clemson. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is it bad blood that ran into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff position? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? Point after, right down the middle. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. So after the touchdown, Clemson back out there to kick this thing away. A short kick taken at the 18. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Their own 32-yard line. The Oregon offense on the field ready for their next possession. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Working out of the gun, it's Barrett. Into the hands of his receiver, Anderson. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. From the gun on third down, Barrett. And that will be incomplete. Barrett's pass incomplete from the contest. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. And it is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And as a result, possession switches hands. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Steps away to his left. He'll run it. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and then it'll be second down. And quickly, they get to the line. To throw on second down. Cummings buying time to his left. And he's got this down to the 35. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. That's a 35-yard. That was a whole lot of open space out in front of him, wasn't it? I'm telling you, Brandon, when things are going right, they are going right. And everything has been going their way for the most part. I saw that lane start to develop. Boom. He took advantage of it. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. First and 10 at the 16-yard line. Well, they changed quarterbacks at half and did not miss a beat. Here they are, your national champions. And celebration time on that sideline. It took a change at quarterback. His thoughts will turn to the condition of Tommy Matthews. But for now, jubilation as they are the 